Hey. Hey, I ain't gonna. I just laugh. I ain't gonna get. I ain't gonna get. All right, now, all right. It is, yo. It's your boy KB and we back with another reaction video. I know, I know, I know y'all been seeing me react to some of the diss tracks from these artists like Kill Shot by Eminem or Rap Devil by MGK, but I, I just had to revive another beef that was great. Great. We promote the violence right now. Boy, if you don't get no, I'm joking. we do not promote the violence. I ain't gonna talk a lot, just go ahead and like the video real quick, you know what I'm saying? Sub up, do all those three things for your boy. Like, comment, subscribe, do those things for me. Let's get this video to 20 likes. Get it to 20 likes, bro. I'm setting I'm setting boundaries here. Get it to 20 likes for me, please. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah. No so I your bitch, you fat motherfucker. West side, bad boy killers. You know, you know who the real is, niggas. We bring it to I must have heard that wrong. Let me let me let me play that back again. Let me play that back again. So I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> First off, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. West side when we ride, come be quick with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The fake biggie is crazy, bro. Like, what happened in this beef for them to be beefing, like, to where you gotta bring somebody wife into it? That's that's where you draw the line. Quick with game. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust some bad boys, niggas fuck for life. Plus, Puffy trying to see me weak. Hearts oh. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna. I just laugh. I ain't gonna get. I ain't gonna get. All right, now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yo, this is low key like an anthem right now, bro. I'm getting an anthem vibe from this. <clears throat> you don't come back from this type of diss. You don't. Oh my God. Bro, it's funny. It's so funny because for one, all these niggas is bald. This is attack of the bald dudes right now, but what did these two have to be? Bro, it could have been anybody else but these two. That's crazy, bro. The cameos they got a Biggie and Lil Kim, or was that Lil Kim in the beginning? Lil Kim. Then they snatched the whole wig off Lil Kim, like she. God, leave, bro. Lil Kim, you should have responded to this. You should have responded to this. Nigga, I hit him up. God, know what time it is. I don't even know why I'm on this track. Y'all niggas attack of the ball head committee. This ain't even on my level. I'ma let my little homies ride on you, bitch made yeah, ass yeah, bad boy, bitch. Yeah. Feel. Get out the way, yo. Get out the way, yo. Who is this? Biggie Smalls just got dropped. Little move past okay. the mat and let me hit him in the okay. back. Frank Wright need to get spent okay. right for setting oh. traps. Hey, he he started snapping. I ain't gonna lie. He got this little jean jacket fit. I don't know what this is about. Jean jacket with Tim's was like the swag back in the day. That was like having a Nike tech nowadays. And choose the b ball. You deserve to be ball. It's like the Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather was bald for the longest, but in reality, he got a whole hairline. I think Tupac inspired Floyd Mayweather. Matt, and let me hit him in his back. Frank White, he <laughs> his bank right for setting traps. Little accident murderers, and I ain't never heard of ya. Poisonous cats attack when I'm serving you. Okay. Spank and shake your whole style when I gank. Guard your rank, cause I'ma slam your ass in the paint. Put me weaker than the fucking block I'm running through, nigga. And I smoke a junior mafia in front of you, nigga. So I be thinking like... Puffy was a, a huge part of this beef, but I think he had something to do with this. Let me know in the comment section if you think Puff has something to do with Tupac's death and Biggie's death. There's a lot of conspiracies out there. I'm not a conspiracist, but some of that stuff be sounding kind of... Some of this shit be sounding true, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's, scary, it's, scary, it's scary, bro, but this dude is straight menace. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Say grab the glove. When you see two pop, uh who shot me, but your punks didn't finish. Now you're about to feel the wrath of a menace. Nigga, we hit him up. I ain't gonna cap though. If I'm a hit man and I and I was sent to to hit somebody, 
And I do do my job, but he's still alive. I'm going to be sick. If this man's in this song dissing me like this, bro. I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be thoroughly upset to where I might have to spin the block around. So that may, it may have been the dude that shot him the first time who, who came back around the second time and finished him off. Because Pop was shot like two or three two or three instances this man was getting shot at, bro. I don't know what. Everybody wanted this man. I don't know, bro. Hate, hate in this world is real, y'all. We need more peace. Please. Hey, hey, hey. That shirt kind of tough, though. It's like seven ball head niggas here, bro. What's up with this? They had an energy about them, bro. You seen the ball head? Ball head dudes back then are like dreadheads now. If you seen a dude with a ball head, just know he was on that type of time, bro. You had Tupac, you had, who else was out there like that? Uh, What's my man name? DMX was like that, ball head. Uh, ball head demons, man, we, I'm going to bring that back, bro. Who's going to rock with me? We're going to cut all of our hair off and we're just going to start thugging out here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You threw the money in the air, too? Okay. No, you begging to stay in the crib, Biggie? That's embarrassing. Pop, you shouldn't have brought that up. You know what I'm saying that's why I got to draw the line at. You can't. You, no, I'm flying. I don't draw no lines right here. I'm King Betty. You know what I'm saying? Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. That's hard. I don't know. All you heard is not to check the scenario. Little C's, I bring you fake G's, see your knees, cop and please the degenerate. Even Lil C's caught a stray in this? What Lil C's? Lil C's had to be a little kid. Let's look up how old Lil C's was when this had to be in his teens, bro. Isn't that crazy? So he's 46 now. Hit him up came out in 96. So that would mean. That was mm, four. So C's was 18 when the song came out. So, I mean, you old enough. You of age to catch a straight bullet. You know what I'm saying? Or a straight, straight bar. I ain't gonna say straight bullet. Y'all know what I mean, right? That's crazy. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. One thing I will say about this, I'm a Biggie fan, right? East Coast. I'm, I live on the East. I'm kind of biased, but this diss track, there was a lot of people in this diss track. You know what I'm saying? Like, out of the two, this is my favorite diss track. Out of Hit Em Up and what it, um, Who Shot You, I would say Hit Em Up was the better diss track overall, but he got he kind of got jumped. Biggie got jumped, bro. Let's be real. Let's keep it 100. There's seven people on this track. Gotta be. There was nobody on Who Shot You. That's all I'm saying, bro. And I already know the West Coast people out They probably going to try to grill me for that. I already said Hit Him Up was a better just this track. I'm just saying, in general, he kind of got jumped on this song. Well, he ain't kind of get jumped. He, he got his ass jumped, bro. But go on. Go on. Okay. Is this big? Okay. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That is crazy. We approaching in the wild open gun smoking. That was hard though. I ain't gonna cap. I don't know who this dude is at the end. Can somebody in the comment section tell me who these people are? I've never seen them before. And I know they came up in the 90s and the, the 80s, the 90s era. I, I can't recognize them. You know what I'm saying? I, I only know Tupac. I don't know anybody else in this jump. Like a loke with low season and a choke. Huntin' smoke. We ain't no motherfucking joke. Dog like niggas better be known. We approaching in the wide open gun smoking. No need for I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. As soon as the funk is popping off, nigga. Of course, Pac had the best verse on here, but I think the dude at the end that kind of favored Biggie Smalls, I think he had the, the second best verse. Or the other one that was like, uh, beat by the a Pac style taker, I take you to your face, you ain't shit but a faker. That was hard. That was him, that was him. I think so. Hold on, let me run his verse back. Now it's gonna bother me. Let me, let me run his verse back. Nah, cut. 
Cause this dude right here, he ain't running like he was supposed to. He ain't really fight for, for Pac in this song, bro. So we gotta get him off of there. Let's hit, let's hit this next dude. You know what I'm saying? He sound like. Okay. Now, now he about to snap though. He he's finna snap. This is the dude I was talking about that had the best verse, hands down. Besides Tupac. They even hit Lil Caesar again. Mind you, Lil Caesar's an 18 year old kid. So think about you in your 18 year old life. You a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You on the way up, and all you hear is people dissing you for some beef that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? He catching strays from grown men. I think Tupac was, what, 25 when he passed away? 25 year olds versus 18. That's a seven year. Y'all could have left Lil C's out of it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I guess if everybody going to be a part of the beef, everybody got to get, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the plate. I guess. We ain't no motherfucking joke, dog. Like niggas better be known. We approaching in the wild open gun smoking. Jada Kids. I got him close. As soon as the funk is popping off, nigga, I hit him up. Okay. Now you tell me who won. I see them, they run. Okay, so who who won that? Who won that? Off the off the songs, Hit 'em Up was a better song. Yeah. It's kind of like the Meek Mill and Drake situation. Like Back to Back was the better song. But Meek Mill's this had some substance in it. You know what I'm saying? Back to Back sound better on the radio is what I'm trying to say. Meek Mill's track was more of an actual diss track. <clears throat> But that's not a good comparison because Hit 'em Up was a better overall better diss track than 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 uh back to back in my opinion. So never mind that 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 that, that argument, but you see what I'm saying? I'm on the same track. Y'all get it. They don't wanna see us. Whole junior mafia click, dressing up trying to be us. How the fuck they gonna be the mob when we always on our job? We the, oh, what's up? Fair, but somebody gotta do it. Oh yeah, mob deep. You wanna fuck with us? Young ass motherfuckers. Don't one of you niggas got sickle cell or something. You fuck with me, nigga. You fuck hey, why would you wish sickle cell on somebody? That's crazy. Somebody got sickle cell? You ain't. Godly, bro. You don't. That's crazy. The funniest part about this last, like, two two minutes is he's speaking, but he's also rhyming. It's like a poem. It's like an aggressive poem. This man got a thug life ass poem at the end of a song. Still dissing, still on topic, still still carrying that objective, but it's just not in rap form. You, that shows the versatility. Y'all get it? Okay. You and your motherfucking okay. Mother. We gonna kill all you motherfuckers. <laughs> now when I came out, I told you it was just about Biggie. Today. They walking in like a deadly ass circle right here. But why are you snapping on these people? He said Chino X. Who is Chino X? Do we have to look up Chino? What's that? Motherfuckers, fuck you, die slow, motherfucker. My phone, phone, make sure all y'all kids don't grow. You motherfuckers can't. Oh, did he just not the babies, not the little kids? He said, Four, four, make sure all y'all kids don't grow. <laughs> Chill out, <laughs> somebody kid, you talking about? <laughs> yeah, dig. <laughs> all y'all motherfuckers, fuck you, die slow, motherfucker. My phone, phone, make sure all y'all kids don't what? grow. You motherfuckers. He's still going, y'all. He's still going. The song been over for 15 minutes now. He's still talking. Biggie, bro, I wish y'all could have figured this out before it happened. Because obviously there's a lot of pain and passion here. Now this man snapping on the last three minutes of a song about some random stuff. But it, it sounds good. So look, man, like, like I said earlier in the video, like, in my opinion, Hit Em Up was a better song. Yes, it was a better track, but... Who shot you? It was it was kind of like they they jumped Biggie, you know what I'm saying? It was it was unfair really. It was super unfair in my opinion. But that doesn't really justify the fact that Hit 'em Up was that much of a better record for uh well such so much of a better record than Who Shot You, but it could because who knows if you would have asked Nas or somebody to get on there, Who Shot You could have been you know, it could it could have progressed a little bit more, but I'm going to do a reaction on Who Shot You Next. I'm going to do that. I'm going to upload that probably the next day. But look, man, if you enjoyed the reaction, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to in the comment section because I'm always in the comments. I'm reading. Type me. Write me. I'm right back. You know what I'm saying? That's how that go. But look, if you enjoyed it,
Go ahead and hit that like button, man. Make sure to let yourself in the way y'all. Peace and chicken grease. I don't want to talk, it's all the